everyone hope you all are doing good uh, in my last video i showed you how to roast eggplant in two different styles in the air fryer if you want to see that video in detail i'm going to share the link in the description below so you can check that out i'm also going to show you in this video how to quickly roast the whole eggplant in the air fryer and make this beautiful traditional flavorful recipe bengan ka bhatta I can just go on and on with this flavor because it turned out absolutely amazing and that's what I'm sharing. I'm so glad to share this recipe with you. Those who follow vegan, plant-based and gluten-free recipes can absolutely make it and enjoy it as well. There's plenty of tips which I'm going to share so keep watching until the end and let's get started. Welcome to Shine with Shoves. This channel is all about making you shine with my healthy diet and building your emotional strength. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new updates from me. For this I'm taking two eggplants by medium size which will fit inside the air fryer basket. Now make deep slits on all four sides of the eggplant. This will help the eggplant to roast evenly. Now lightly brush the eggplant with oil using a brush. This will give a toasty flavor to our bhatta. I'm placing one eggplant inside the air fryer. The other eggplant was too big so I air fried in a different way. The video link is in the description below. Place the eggplant and set the temperature to 390 degree Fahrenheit and air fry for 20 minutes. While the eggplant is roasting in the air fryer, let's cut some onion, tomato and prepare this masala. Perfect for a beautiful rainy day like this. If you don't have an air fryer, all you have to do is just roast it in an open flame or you can try baking it in the oven as well. Uh, today I have an air fryer. I'm just going to Uh, leave it in the air fryer while it's going to do its part. I'm going to cut and chop other vegetables and prepare this bengan ka bhatta. Heat a heavy bottom pan or a wok. Add two tablespoons of oil. I'm using olive oil here. You may use any oil of your choice. I'm using ajwain seeds. This is available in Indian store. This is excellent for digestion and helps improve the flow of stomach acids. Add 1/4 teaspoon of ajwain seeds, then add 1 teaspoon cumin seeds. Let it splutter. Cumin seeds add flavor, has antioxidant and anti-cancer properties and helps with digestion as well. Add 2 green chilies cut. Now add the chopped garlic and chopped ginger. To this add chopped onion as well I've used uh, two large onion the more the onion the better for two eggplants use two onion for one eggplant use one onion stir onion well until translucent add a bit of salt it will help add half teaspoon haldi or turmeric 1 teaspoon coriander powder and 1 teaspoon cumin powder Half teaspoon red chili powder. Cook until it's nicely brown under low to medium flame. Add pink Himalayan rock salt and continue to stir until the spices blend well. The aroma is fantastic already. Add in the tomatoes. Cook until the raw flavor goes away. Make sure the tomatoes are nicely cooked and it's soft. It's important to take the time to cook the onion and tomato masala well for a couple of minutes until it's nicely sauteed and the tomatoes are soft. Make sure it's not burning or sticking to the pan. Air fried eggplant is ready, well roasted in the air fryer. Look how the skin is all wrinkly. It's too hot now so remove and let it rest on a separate plate for about 2 minutes then cut open to see for yourself how beautiful this looks it will release some water which is normal don't panic the skin peels very easily peel off the skin using a spoon or a fork cut the eggplant and mash a little bit air fryer is the easiest way to roast or grill eggplant 
to make Indian bangal bharta or Indian style baba ganoush. These are the two different styles which I roasted in the air fryer from the last video. I'm going to add them both to the masala. These two roasted style eggplants turned out equally good. As you see, mix them well. Make sure the masala gets on it. And after you mix, cook under cover for 2 minutes under medium flame. Then open and mash using a potato masher so that they are nicely mixed well together. This step is very important. This is how pangan ka bhatta is made. And cook under cover for 2 more minutes. See Indian style baba ganoush, you can grind the roasted eggplant in the food processor along with garlic, coriander, chili, salt, pepper and lime juice. This bharta is Punjabi style and it's best made in a pan or a wok. At this point add garam masala, taste and adjust salt as well. In the end garnish with fresh cut coriander leaves and serve it hot. Look at this beauty, the texture turned out great and my kitchen smells fantastic. Very pleased with the outcome. Make sure you just stir fry until the moisture is all dry. Beautifully it's prepared. It's so easy, flavorful and very simple yet very elegant. You can uh, have it with the hot naan, roti, chapati, paratha or if you follow gluten free you can uh, have gluten free bread or you can have it with rice as well. So this number of options it's totally up to you or just use it as a dip. This is so yummy. I can't wait to taste. Do try it this way. You're absolutely going to love it. I'm so pleased with this recipe. It turned out so delicious. Uh, so if you like this recipe uh, and if you haven't subscribed my channel, uh, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. And I truly appreciate your support. I try to bring in plenty of healthy air fryer recipes. Please share it with your friends and stay tuned for another exciting recipe. And don't forget to shine with shows. <laughs>